So welcome to another video. If you've watched uh, a lot of videos on this channel or been following it for a while, you would recognize this guitar. This is my acrylic poor guitar. What I'm going to try to do is put one of these uh, like little spots here. It's uh, they're, they're like uh, key holders. They hold these Allen keys here. Um, so that way you can like do changes to the bridge and uh, stuff like that and then lock it without having to like carry a key on you. Um, well, you are carrying a key on you, but without having to carry it in a separate place like the guitar case, you can actually keep it on the physical guitar itself. So I'm going to show you how to install that and then I might do some electronic modifications because the only thing I have done in this guitar is the split right here for this so still thinking about what i want to do electronically i might not do it this video but um maybe some stuff to come up with that later but anyway let's get on to putting this on so first things first is i got this kit from kaish i don't know how you say it maybe that's it and whenever you get a kit like this it's really important before you install it Make sure that these Allen keys that come with it actually fit your stuff. Um, because it would be really embarrassing to install it all up and it actually not fit. So this one does match it all. It's a little more loose than I would like. It's like maybe a half a size smaller, but it totally works. I could get the correct size if I wanted to, but that works. And then this smaller one here goes into these and this one fits as well. So yeah. Really important that you check that uh, small thing, but worth noting. So now I'm gonna go ahead and drill these holes and you'll see in the next thing, I'm gonna have my drill and get these installed and uh, make sure you tape up your drill like what I'm about to do for depth. All right, so once I made sure it was in the right position, I actually put the Allen keys in here. Um, then I marked it with a pencil. I usually use something like this and then I push out a lot of lead. Um, and then I, I'm able to get deep in the hole <clears throat> and just be carefully like make a little circle there. I circled it out. I drilled the holes out with this taped on drill bit. And now it's time to install the boy. All right. And in case you can see it, I have the bigger hole on the left and the smaller hole on the right, and so that's so the bigger Allen key is on uh, this side here. That was a preference that I wanted, so make sure you're measuring up when you do this. Let's get it installed. And make sure to use hand tools when working in situations like this because you don't want to go too hard, uh, especially with a power tool, and then drive that screw in and strip it, or worst case scenario, um, put a crack in the headstock. That would stink. So there we go. That's in. And I'll put these in place. Yeah. Yeah, sweet. So, got these installed. Uh, I think this one's at an angle, and that's why it's so weird. I guess that's the only way I can do it. Right. Okie doke. So, there we go. That's it. It's in there. And I'll show you an angle from the front here. Okay. And here's that angle from the front. You like really have to get along the side of it to see it. But head on and even from partially the side, you don't really see it. And playing, I was at first worried I would feel it, but I'm all the way up here, which you don't play up here, and I don't feel it. So that was a success. Um, anyway, if you have any questions, you know, stick them in the comments below. But there you go. There you have it. Good luck with yours.